Hello everyone. Welcome to the seventh session of uh, Additional English third semester class. So in the opening scene, we have seen how uh, Menelaus is unhappy with uh, Helena, and uh, we also have learnt that uh, uh, even Helena is unhappy with uh, Menelaus. Uh, therefore, uh, Helena complains it before uh, her husband that uh, uh, she uh, is treated cruelly by him. Uh, so that is the problem. Helena is emotional. She is looking for uh, something uh, uh, beyond the physical love. But the Menelaus treats her as his beauty asset. So that's where uh, both of them have failed. The relationship has uh, failed. In this session, let's continue reading uh, this uh, one act play and uh, learn what happens, what events take place next. So under this, uh, we will uh, learn uh, some points like uh, uh, Paris enters uh, the palace, then he meets Helena and he wins Helena to his trip. So in the previous class, uh, yes, we have learnt both Helena and Menelaus are not happy with each other. Uh, so as Menelaus and Analytus Cross are talking with each other, Paris enters the palace as a shepherd. He does not introduce himself as uh, the prince of uh, uh, Trojan, uh, but he introduces himself as a shepherd. So in their talking, he says he has come from the hills and he is a shepherd. Menelaus, the king is uh, very casual with him. He doesn't even uh, uh, feels uh, feel angry at his entrance. Well, anybody would uh, have felt. Uh, uh, angry because uh, this shepherd Paris enters Queen's palace. So he should have been killed by the anger of the husband, but no, that doesn't happen. Menelaus is quite uh, uh, normal with him. Uh, then uh, Paris tries to explain why he has come there. Now he says in the market he met three gypsies. Uh, so, this goes back to uh, the Greek mythology in which uh, God Gius uh, arranged a party, a banquet, in which he forgot to invite Ares, a goddess, who plays uh, havoc. So, he, he doesn't invite her, but she, uh, that goddess uh, comes to know about this banquet later and she decides to play spoil sport. So, she gives a golden apple to the other three goddesses, Hera, Athena and uh, Aphrodite. They, three, uh, these three uh, goddesses, beautiful goddesses, go to God Gius and ask who is more beautiful, who is the most beautiful and the most beautiful will uh, be eligible to have that golden apple. God G.S. cannot decide, so he says, you go to uh, the mortal uh, uh, human being, Paris. So that's what is the scene here. They come to uh, Paris and ask him, you decide, uh, you judge who is the most beautiful among three of us, Hera, Athena and Aphrodite. So three of them try to, to win the title of the most beautiful woman. They uh, try to bribe Paris. So Hira tries to bribe him with something, Athena tries to bribe him with something, and Aphrodite tries to uh, win him, bribe him with uh, 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 saying that, uh, promising that uh, if he selects Aphrodite as the most beautiful uh, goddess who is. Uh, uh, eligible to get the golden apple, she will grant him the most beautiful woman on the earth, that is uh, Helena. So that's how 
uh, here he explains i met three gypsies i had uh, i had an apple in my hand and three of them uh, bribed me uh, so when uh, aphrodite granted me the most beautiful woman on this earth my heart set on helena so that's how i have come here so at the, the mention of this menelaus does not argue with uh, the shepherd he is very casual and says okay that's okay and uh, uh, the shepherd paris says i am here to have a glimpse of helena and this uh, husband beautiful husband he grants him uh, to see helena so helena is brought before him they look at each other paris and helena look at each other uh, but anaitikos is very particular that for bre breaching the rules and in uh, entering uh, the palace of the queen and it analytical says paris must be given death sentence he should be killed but menelaus is not uh, of that opinion he says he comes and he quiets analytical and says it's all right arrange uh, it for uh, paris to see helen and uh, as they see they uh, they feel the attraction menelaus defends this uh, entry of uh, paris into the uh, palace so he considers this as an opportunity given by gods to save him you may remember in the previous session we discussed menelaus wants to escape from this uh, wife helen his wife helen so now when paris comes to see her he he finds this an opportunity and he says helena must elope with him what i wish i think no husband no wife would wish this menelaus wishes that helena should elope with paris and he also says i cannot i could not divorce this queen because that will bring down my honor that would set a bad example so what is the other way no it is a treachery fituri it is a treachery that he allows her to go with paris and calls it an elopement so divorcing her is also beneath my honor therefore this is an opportunity let her escape right now in the meeting of helena and uh, uh, paris paris is uh, revered by the beauty of uh, helena helena is also attracted by young paris uh, uh, in this meeting Uh, remember menelaus and analytikos are not present they have gone away so in this private talking uh, paris with his uh, uh, talk he tries to win her initially helena resists herself from him and his attraction and she also defends uh, her husband saying he is a dutiful husband but Paris says, "No, your husband is uh, not a beautiful husband. You hate your husband." Then she agrees. He goes on talking uh, something beautiful and amazing, and says, "I am here to lead you." Then she falls for him. He talks about the sea, the sun, mist of the sun. And then he calls her, "Come, shall we go hand in hand to meet eternity?" she falls for the his uh, want to keep talk so this is how he, he wins her heart when uh, paris wins helena's heart uh, so far in this session in the 7 we have learnt menelaus and helena are not happy with each other uh, a shepherd named paris comes to see helena 
Menelaus agrees and arranges it. But Analyticos is against it. He wants to uh, have this shepherd killed. But against it, Menelaus wishes in his heart and he expresses it to Analyticos that uh, he should elope with uh, Paris. So, in the talk, in the meeting uh, with uh, Helena, Paris wins her heart and she is mesmerized by his uh, words. Yes, friends, with uh, this discussion, uh, go through these MCQs and uh, check your comprehension. I hope you will be able to answer these uh, simple questions. Thank you. Let's meet in the next session.